everyone. I've been embellishing bags this week and I thought I'm just going to turn the camera on and show you what I've got. I ordered these bags pre-made um, and I'm going to have them in my probably my summer shop. Um, they're a good size. I thought they'd be great for like a market bag or maybe a beach bag. I found some fabric at the thrift store that I'm just going to lay out some designs. Um, and this one I'm actually cutting a big flower out of and you can see it there. I just laid them out as patches with that flower over the top and then a little bit of bee trim that I had left over from my last kits. I do have some steam -a seam 2 on the back of this and so I'm just going to peel that away. I do enjoy using this steam -a seam It's a bit pr more pricey than, than the Heat and Bond Light, which I what I usually use. Um, but I love that it that it's a temporary stick, so you can remove move it around until you figure out where you really want it, and then you use steam to apply it. Um, it just works really nice. It has a nice feel to it. I've picked out some threads. Most of it I'm going to be doing in this cream colored. But then I'm also going to do some thread painting with um, these other colors, just in this flower, just finding some. I don't have a lot of my threads here, and so these greens are not the right colors, but I made it work. I'm at my sewing machine, and I am going to be just putting this over my um, open arm machine. And I am free motion zigzagging. So I have my feed dogs dropped, and I have my, my darner foot on which is that plastic foot. And so I'm, I'm z free motion zigzagging. So when I go hor horizontal like this, it's just a bold straight stitch, sideways straight stitch. It's kind of hard to explain it. Um, but then at, when I go the other way, it's just a zigzag. But I like to do these little doodles and it's just a really fun way to add a texture. It's great if you're doing a landscaping. You can do grass really quickly with it or, or bark on a tree. I did switch now to this rust colored thread and I'm just gonna add some, oh, just some stitches kind of where the rust is on this flower. Again, I'm just traveling. I'm not breaking my thread at all. I'm just going from one area to the next and then just adding some texture. Now jumping to this green, and I've got two shades of green. This is a lighter one. And doing the same thing, just with my zigzag, just kind of going all over, and just adding again some texture, and then just some, some, different, some color. Now I added my darker green, and doing the same thing, just kind of just going over some areas. Just has a nice a nice look to it. I really love doing this. And you can kind of see what it looks like. I'm going to be adding some beads to the center of this flower, but not until later on, probably when I'm watching TV tonight. Big patch pockets going on the back. I did already finish off the top of that just by turning it over twice and stitching it. And then the other sides and bottom I just fold it under and I'm going to be just stitching this on, pinning it first. It's easy to get that pocket on with this large bag um, and I do want to make sure that I um, re reinforce the beginning and the end there because this is a, more of a stress point or you're going to be putting things in that pocket. Now for this closure, I want to do a snap closer, closure, but I don't want to mess with the top that's already on there. So I'm just going to make these little tabs just by folding over the ads, edges. And then I'm going to wrong sides together and I'm going to stitch the ends, just folding it and stitching those ends. And now you'll be able to see I'm going to trim these ends and then I'll turn these so that the, the right sides are out. And then be poking out the corners and then pressing them. Just an easy way to make a little tab. I thought I could probably add Velcro to the top of it, these bags as well, but this I, th I thought would just make a nice neat closure. 
these bags I am going to leave completely unlined and I'll probably do a couple different themes and actually thought about um, doing a kit with these as well uh, I thought that would be a fun maybe like a beach bag theme or something something in, in the works something I'm thinking about um, I will be listing all my supplies down below and I will list this bag as well if anybody's interested I did find it on Amazon um, it, it is it's a nice bag it's it, a heavy weight and I was pleased with the quality of it now I'm just going to be going on and marking these I'm using my scissor to poke these holes for these snaps um, I normally use like a seam ripper but I can't believe it I'm I'm on vacation for a few months and I forgot a, a seam ripper. <laughs> Don't know what I was thinking. And I got them both done. I'm just going to line them up just in the center there. I'm going to use my clips to keep these into place. And then I'm just getting the other one in this, the right position. And I'm going to stitch both ends and then close to that snap as well. Then that'll keep it um, secure enough when I'm, when I'm opening and shutting that magnet. And just has a really nice finished off look. I'm gonna be sharing some um, pictures at the end here too, but I, I wanted to add some more color to this. And so I'm going to be using my archival ink pads um, I have two different colors there, but I just use this red geranium color and a stencil, and then I'm using a makeup brush. And again, I'll link these down below as well. I don't think that stencil is still available, um, but I'll, I'll link those um, this color for sure. And I love using these archival ink pads through stencils on fabric. They are waterproof, so they're permanent. And it's just so much easier than I find then, but then putting um, oh like a paint on it just I don't know I just really like this is just much easier to control although I did manage to get some where I didn't want it but I fixed it I'll show you at the end in one of the pictures I kind of disguised the fact that I made a mistake and here they are you can see my pictures at the end you could I just added some more paint on the corners through that stencil you can see it there not the paint but the the ink pad. And, and that's kind of how I covered up that boo-boo. You can see it there as well. I did that both on the back, or the front, and then also on the back too. I hope you all enjoyed this, everybody. Bye for now.